So this is Global Earth News. Um, we just uh, want to talk about some different things besides, you know, rich, rich guys going um, into outer space while the world is burning on fire and we're choking on smog and dying in floods. Um, they're they're going in outer space. But I actually want to like um, I, like I love space. That's what's confusing about this situation because I actually love outer space. I love about you know space travel and like all the sciences about it so you know it was like this situation is weird to see these like people do stuff that makes you uninspired somehow i'm, I'm less inspired about space because i saw these guys going in here and, and you know you probably not you, and you realize i'm not the only one a lot of people feel this way and i'm going to tell you why because you know i'm going to share this clip of actually real i'm going to share this you this kind of scam these guys are doing um I'm gonna share this article. Everyone probably knows about this. Pretty much, uh, Jeff Bezos and Sir Richard Branson yeah, may not be rules. astronauts. <laughs> so, like, yeah, they changed the rules. Like NASA's like, nah, there's too many people uh, getting into an airplane and they're flying at a little higher altitude than a jumbo jet, and then calling themselves astronauts. And they try to charge people two hundred fifty thousand dollars for it. You guys. Did it's somebody like, pay twenty eight million? It was a, it was a commercial. It had nothing to do with developing science, anything to help, you know, move the human race towards a greater, you know, understanding of ourselves. So it's just like to make some cash to go halfway to space um, and to so, elevate themselves further um, among the so called plebs that they exploit here. You know, you know, had on, on terra firma, to do being excited about going out of space and like hopefully like we can become greater people and understand ourselves it had nothing to do with that and nasa obviously was bit pretty salty about this <laughs> and the faa pretty salty about this to like change these rules at the last minute oh, oh, oh you guys are not uh oh, oh, no no <laughs> like yep. <at> the last... <laughs> yep yep because ima imagine 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 if you know, because you know we hold astronauts in very high regard in this country yeah. and, and around the world because yeah. some people don't even believe that it's possible to actually be outside the Earth's atmosphere. That's how unbelievable it is. Right. Yeah. So when you got some guy that just plunks some money and then, you know, he gets onto something, um, he gets like into a, a dildo. It's like a dick and balls. <laughs> you can't but the but the up. dicks inside, the, but the dicks inside. Okay, they don't pilot it. They have no piloting skills. They're just sitting in a fucking Willy Wonka. Elevator. I really wish we could show a clip of um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force <laughs> when the dick alien uh, is cutting people's dicks off, and they make a spaceship, a, a dick shaped spaceship made of dicks. Remember that shit? Please <laughs> tell me you remember that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's exactly what happened here um if you want so i actually want to you know uh i know i don't want to uninspire kids i want to i don't want to go on my one knee and go to go up to a kid and tell you that you know, your dreams are being crushed little boy because you know you have to be a billionaire to go out of space um you, you're not about how smart you are how many schools you go to what kind of military service you do it doesn't fucking matter you just need a whole bunch of money and get in the deck and fly halfway to space. Um, so you don't need no shit about anything. So mm. that, that's what like that's what the message that Jeff Bezos and like Richard Bronson gave to the rest of the world, pretty much. But I want to like um, switch to actually people doing stuff um, to the, the motherland China. Unfortunately, we keep talking about China. China's a threat. China's a threat. We're not doing shit about it. Obviously, we talking about it being a threat and doing nothing about it. So obviously, I guess we're okay with what's happening here. So meanwhile, while Rich and Brownson and like Jeff Bezos were like shooting their their cum load as far as possible um, to the sky, China pretty much was um, fucking actually they, they built their first space station um, and then they sent their first astronauts to the space station around the same time that we were like talking about zero gravity skittles. This is what they were doing the whole time. Um, so they had a whole rocket launch the whole fucking time where we were like talking about these two rich white guys. That's One how you know they're not astronauts. Yeah. If you're talking about taste the rainbow, you can only see the rainbow through the atmosphere. Yeah, so if you didn't get through the atmosphere, helping. So if you can mute. still see the rainbow, then that means that you're not an astronaut. So I'm going to mute this. This is like some real astronaut shit happening. Um, 
that China did in their first spacewalk from a Chinese space station. Um, so I, I want to play this clip where, where, where we rant about this. Um, so like, you know, like they, they're doing this for a reason. I want to pull up the next thing about like the experiments, about the studies that happened with publicly funded NASA space stuff. Um, so skip ahead to the actual like cool in the dark. So they're getting suited up. Um, this is what on China, this is what they saw a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, they're probably putting a fucking laser weapon up there. So they did their first spacewalk. It actually starts getting pretty epic after this. So um actually start seeing them in the wide shot. So they're in the wide shot now, which is like crazy. So you see like so this was happening while we were paying attention to um is he Jeff cooking? Bezos. Is they, he they, cooking, they first cooking space. in space? Yeah. Flying around. The actual in space. This is actual space. This is not you know Yeah, this is not where you can still you know see the rainbow when you go to taste it. <laughs> And then sell some exclusive Skittles. I can't believe they did that. I mean, I'm not. It's so blatant. It's so blatant. It's ugly, man. It was straight up ugly. It was a big Virgin commercial. It was for Virgin Mobile, Virgin Records, Virgin Galactic, Virgin Airlines, Virgin, 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 Virgin. It was. It was a commercial for him. It was a commercial for Jeff Bezos and Amazon. He literally said at the press conference, "I like to thank the Amazon customers." Oh, the Amazon it so workers. Gross. It was a it was a commercial. It had nothing to do with like with space at all. I don't um, know. It sounds like dash and bass to me. So, so I want to click the next next thing, which shows you like you know okay what 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 we get all this money to NASA? What do we get out of it? So I want to I want to share this clip about it's not a clip. It's actually a good list from NASA website. About the 20 breakthroughs from 20 years of science. We're just talking about 20 years with the International Space Station. People actually going out there and like actually scientists, actually people, intellectuals, actually people going up there, um, skilled professionals, experts trying to try things out up there from drug disease research to like um, water purification to um, development of like the compact muscle atrophy and bone loss. Um, to exploring like matter and gravity, to to um, exploring the uh, microchips, to growing food and microgravity, um, to monitoring the, the planet and w- weather. Um, all these different things were used for the ISS. Um, it was wasn't up there just for rich people to hang out. It was actually a place that people develop and had scientific studies. You know. They weren't even hanging out. They were up there for like 47 seconds. Like, what the <laughs> fuck, man? What the fuck was that about? Oh, oh, and you want to talk about, you know, climate change and all of this shit that Amazon is talking about, what they're doing to fight climate change? Yo, you just put mad fucking rocket fuel into the environment for what? I mean, it's totally insane. I mean, cancer therapy. Um... That, that, that would be... That would be, to me, that's the equivalent of taking a woman out on a date, spending $1,500 uh, at the restaurant, and then you prematurely ejaculate <laughs> in the end. Not, not even. You, like, you, you pull up in the car, and you wave hello, and you drive off. That's what that felt like. <laughs> I thought I thought I thought this was gonna be a a, a a lonely island jizz in my pants reference. Hell no! I, not, you know, I'm not, I felt like you didn't even get that far. I felt like didn't even really, get that far. And then I jizzed in this, this my pants. Just waved in your car, waved in the back of the Uber, and get and drove off. We didn't even get out the Uber. This is the one way trip. Yep. <laughs> I waved out the Uber and I jizzed. In my pants. <laughs> so look at this. Uh, what, did we hear anything about any of this kind of stuff happening? It's all about this, like, going somewhere and, and buying property in, in the moon or some shit like that. It's insane. Um, so we talked about the Chinese, what they're doing. Uh, I want to pull up this next thing. I just show what ISS is doing. Pretty much what the Chinese government, they're doing the same thing. They're planning to just use 
all those resources of the International Space Center they have to do scientific studies as well. So while we're wasting our time congratulating rich people, um, NASA, uh, China is going even further with their scientific studies. Um, who knows what else they're going to do with that Chinese space station. Um, why are now we just waiting for Elon Musk to build his ship and go to the moon or whatever? I don't know where he's going. Where is he going? Where is Elon Musk? Mars. Going? He's going to Mars, right? Oh, yeah, he's going I to think, Mars. I think he's going to fly his spaceship to a candy bar. <laughs> so that's Global Earth News. I'm giving you some, like, hopeful space news rather than depressing, we're all going to die on Earth news. Um, so that's Global Earth News. Follow Black Power Magic Hour on um, all the different social media platforms. They change, like, fucking every day. It's probably a new one for your psychic mind or some shit like that. So Twitter... Uh, Twitch, um, uh, Discord, and Dati Regines, he's live talking shit on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, YouTube. Follow us on Act TV. Uh, we blazing on there. 